All right, it is a good day today. It is July 25th. We just got a new announcement on the opening of the Close Alpha. Uh, this is a big thing. I haven't read any of this yet. So I'm gonna go through it, just call out some things that I find interesting, uh, and then we'll jump in. So Clueless said, good morning, everyone. Today we are pleased to announce the opening of our Closed Alpha playtest. Hello. Uh, We've been keeping busy and there's a lot of updates, so please take the time to read this message first. Unlike previous playtests, we will be releasing a new companion or battle plan every two weeks. Wow, that is really interesting. Um, excellent, Shadow Links, very excited for that. That's gonna be a companion we've seen recently in some of the artwork and in the latest Evervent. That's awesome. Uh, check out this tweet for teasers on who else will be added in the coming weeks. Uh, new runs and glint. Glint's a, a new word. I haven't heard of that. Introducing and alpha ventures. Okay. That's also a new word. Uh, new randomized adventures. Awesome. They did hint at that last AMA. And I was hoping they get that in. And they did. So that's that's awesome. That's going to be... Now I'm curious about is if it's going to be the like the actual pathing or if it'll be the actual battle map so let's see what it says um alpha ventures require maps to enter i did remember seeing in the last uh play test there was a shop and there was a there was a map but you could not buy it it seems like we might now be able to buy things uh daily free maps are given to each player or more can be purchased for glint so glint's going to be seemingly the currency glint can be earned through alpha venture progress all alpha venture difficulties have the same rewards structure for now. So just play with the difficulty you're most comfortable with, but that seems to suggest that more difficult, at some point in the future, more difficult runs um, will be um, with higher rewards, a high risk, high reward. Note, this is an early version 1.0, so they may not be perfectly balanced, which is why we need your feedback in order to improve them. Also, we recommend finishing Alpha Ventures when you can. Losing still grants rewards, but um, closing the game does not. Quick save. Oh, nice. So they're doing a quick save, which is nice. I know the team or the community has asked for like being able to take a break. Granted, I did leave like my computer open and I made sure it didn't sleep and I was able to walk away for several hours. But to have a true quick save feature would be great. Seasonal progression, prosperity, and perks. You can also earn prosperity from adventures. Prosperity provides seasonal rewards. Nice. Called perks. Okay. So they're going to have kind of a seasonality aspect, which is, is quite popular in these games that, um, like League of Legends and stuff, where they have this ongoing every year they're bringing something new. Okay. We could maybe see some time limited um, rewards. Um, which I okay, right there, they're calling it perks. Okay, so um, prosperity provides seasonal rewards called perks, which help you on future alpha ventures during this season. Perks get reset each season. There's a weekly cap on the amount of prosperity you can earn. This cap raises incrementally throughout the course of an active season. Is the is the weekly cap increase as it seems like, or are they just saying the total cap? I'm not sure. Um, but I think that's pretty cool because it makes the game kind of sticky. Like it, you have kind of, you hit a quota each week and you, you can kind of get your weekly time in and there's a benefit to doing so because if you play every week, you can earn, um, the max amount of prosperity. No, this is an alpha release. So there may be occasional necessary wipes of progression. Fair enough. It's good to know, <laughs> you know, um, this isn't, this isn't the open beta yet. This is pre beta. Uh, new UX UI. We've overhauled many UX UI elements during combat, so things may feel a bit different than before. Please watch this tutorial walkthrough if you're confused. I'm, pointing, I'm going to dive in and just... Um, I want to do my initial impressions. I think that'll be helpful for the team to see, too. How I'm kind of taking things in live. Bugs and feedback. Press B while in-game to submit a bug report. Very cool. Before it was uh, through a Google form. That's awesome. Because it'll probably also get some context. Um, in the moment. So on web browser, please use control shift I, which is the dev console. Uh, please copy and paste the info there into a text file and attach that file to your bug report. Very cool. Nice. 
node issues, please see the thread. Um, okay, uh, I think they're referring to the forum channel here. Uh, last but definitely not least, your feedback is vital to make to help us make a great game. Please take the time to submit your thoughts here, especially after each new content release. Wow, uh, this is big. This is big. I'm excited. I'm really excited. What I'm what am I most excited about? <laughs> Shadow Links. Um, I think just seeing how the alpha ventures are randomized. I'm really curious about that. And just to recap this a bit, it seems that okay, you need a map to enter a certain alpha venture, and I want to see how is the randomization happening there, if it's at the battle map level or not. Uh, but let's get into it. So uh, and if you're not watching this, uh, or not, you're not watching this, you are watching this. If you are not in the Discord, um, definitely go to everseed.com. There is a, a link on there to go to Discord. Uh, that's where you'll get announcements. Um, I don't know if they explicitly stated it here, um, but at least in past tests, you needed to be a holder of a Sprout or a Ranger. So you can go to like Magic Eden or your. Uh, secondary marketplace of choice for Solana, pick up an Everseed Ranger or a Sprout. Sprouts are gonna be, assuming that you can buy either one um, to play this play test, which I'm assuming you can, um, Sprouts are, are cheaper. But anyway, let's get into it. So I'm gonna, I'm in Everseed.com and the interface changed. So I might have to move my mug here. All right, give me, I'm gonna pause and, and log, log in. So one moment. All right, we are logged in. Gonna click play. Let's do it. Oh, let me get my um, headphones on. Remember to press B if you need to submit a bug report. Um, I need to tweak the volume here too. Okay, just had to take a little intermission there to make sure the audio was coming in on Everseed, so we are good now. Okay, and I may have to move myself because I might be in the way. <laughs> the interface changed. I do immediately see uh, Season of Sun, level zero. Uh, it looks like, at least for the alpha, they didn't bring in our prior levels. We were able to acquire uh, level ups in some playtests the last year. Uh, zero, 130, not sure what that refers to, we'll see. And then it might be how many, 52 of you know what I think that is? That might be uh, the 10 points we can earn per week, 13 weeks in a season, assuming four seasons. That's my guess. Uh, I got some moolah. Hey. Sweet. Bank error in your favor. No, I don't know. That might be like from earlier. Or they just give that to everybody. I don't know. Um, shop refresh. That's cool. So... Um, got a bunch of free maps, so what I'm assuming is I would need to start off with that. What's in my inventory though? Uh, okay, rangers, sprouts, whatnot. Um, do I, can I like load one of these? No, I think you just view it. Oh, they do have the level there. See that? Ah. Because yeah, I did level up some of these little rascals. But you can't see the do anything here with it, it's just more so uh, viewing. Okay, I'm gonna click start, but I'm guessing I'll need a map first. Oh cool, they have tutorial. That's cool, I know some people that were new were asking for that. That's great that they added that. I like the artwork. <laughs> really cool. Uh, and I'm gonna click Alpha Ventures. Alright, so Blight Level... What's this? Whoa! I can like click drag that, I think I remember that from last time. <laughs> Uh, but Alpha Ventures, Blight Level 1, Rangers should exercise caution in Blight Infested Zones. Hazardous accumulation of Blight, be prepared. Danger, extremely high concentration. So this is where they get to choose different levels. Right now, it's... Uh, there's no more reward for Blight Level 3, but let's go for a challenge. Okay, that's what I was expecting at some point. They wanted uh, me to get a map. You don't have Level 3 map in your inventory. All right, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to the shop. We're going to pick up map level three. Um, hmm, 
Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, That's, that bought it right away. Um, I know this is early. I guess my feedback there would be like, I tried clicking here and couldn't buy it. Also, these probably should be grayed out or something if there is actually nothing to else on in the store. I clicked this in the moment. Well, I guess it's free. Well, I guess what's interesting, so it's free, but I thought it's saying 400, so I'm confused what that actually means. Is it actually bringing down the total? Like, is it not free? Oh, no. Okay, so I'm gonna submit, a, this is actually a straight up crash, so I don't even think I can click B, because it, it crashed at a higher level, so. I'm gonna grab this for the team. I don't know if it's gonna still work. I'm assuming no. All right, I'm gonna click, try to click B. Okay, B is not working when I click it, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bail out of here. <clears throat> I'm assuming it'll still doubt that I bought the level three map. Right, let's go back. Okay, it did actually go through, but I don't know. So I, I keep an eye on this. Is it's saying 400? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna try to click this one. So four two six six zero. Okay, that worked. It didn't, it didn't decrement, so it does seem to truly indicate it's free, but I don't understand is why it says 400 still. Oh, I clicked it again. Oh. Oh. Okay, that did cost money and then it crashed again. So that's interesting. I can't actually click out of this, which is interesting. And it's okay. It might just been error multiple times. I, click, I kept clicking OK and eventually went away. But now I'm stuck here, so I'm gonna refresh again. So that was interesting though, because I, I I clicked it again and then it went up to 16, and then it did decrement the amount, so it wasn't free. It seemed, but I don't know if I'm buying like a second map or something. I'm not clear on that piece. But um, yeah, and it changed to yellow, so I don't know. Do I click it again? Let's see. Whoa! Okay, yeah, it's spending my money. <laughs> I should probably stop. Uh, it says A level one map, so I'm guessing maybe it's like a, I don't know, we'll see. Let's get into it, I wanna play. So I, I should have probably bought more level three maps, but. Let's start with the level three. This will charge your account. Oh, now it's charging me? Or maybe it's like it's saying it'll consume the the map. That's my guess, maybe. So if you want to like play again, you have to, I don't know, we'll see. I'm guessing you use the map, but then it, it goes away. And if you want to buy another one, it costs more and it's a different map, maybe. Well, ran, it seems to suggest it's a randomly generated map. All right, you start down a little used winding path. You will fight the blight soon. Oh, ho, ho, what? Can I scroll? Oh, oh, oh yeah, you have to go to the edge of the screen. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this is huge. What? I, mean, I guess it, what's really cool, this is the most diverse we've seen, the map. The most like non-linear we've seen. This is awesome. I'm super excited. We have to go here. Oh man, I'm pumped. Let's go. Let's go in. All right, so we're gonna go here. I love my cats. So what did it say there? A ferocious feline that delights in diving into the blight to fight it. A ferocious feline. Oh man, I'm excited. I do love Gerber though. So I'm gonna give Shadow Links a run. See how it goes. At first, it's feeling like Okay, so not really any indications of, it just seems like they're pretty intense and um, so they might have some movement. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go for my, oh yeah, I get one of each that, so I get six. I'm gonna do a nice healthy smattering. 
Yeah. I kind of like Aquafern too, though. Um, oh, that should be fine. All right, let's go into this. Some previous ranger must have cleared out this space. There's a gazebo to relax in. And infusions to help you on the, on the rest of your adventure. Breathe deep. <sighs> Choose three infusions. Uh, Aquifer, and I'll, I'll do some diversity there. Ice this all. Do another Tema. I do like my Temas. I'm kind of a Tema fiend. Wow, interesting. So I can stock up even more. Oh, it tells you right there. I don't want to go there. So it's like, do you want to go into the Blightstorm? Oh, well, that's interesting. You can either go in the Blightstorm or you can just go into a battle. I kind of want to just do the fight because you could, you could get through this with only going through one enemy. If I go this way, um, you're, you're immediately doing another battle. I'm going to go for two battles. I think it's a really cool thing. You can choose if you want to get hit by a Blightstorm because that can be... What is happening? Oh my goodness. What are these? This is, oh man, there's a lot happening here. And this is cool. They totally changed the graphic on this guy. Oh man, can I move? Whoa! Oh, they totally changed it. Oh man. Oh, I'm flying numbers. I don't know what that means, but. Oh, the numbers. Yes, I do want to see those. I asked for that. Um, that's the, the damage indicators, I think. There's so much going on. This is cool. Oh, and they did add this. I, I gave some feedback. Like, it'd be cool to see where oh this is such a clean interface and I, i'm in the way okay uh oh man it looks like we lost the audio okay we should have the audio back it when it crashed uh my screen recorder lost the audio so this is this is wild so what happened here is i think they updated the interface to ah keep doing that I'm hitting escape, uh, and it doesn't, they don't seem to have a, that keyboard shortcut. I think you can right click though. Yeah, right clicking is a nice little shortcut so you don't have to go down to the bottom and click cancel. Uh, oh man, there's so much I'm trying to intake. Because before you always just click and your companion would go there. But now, you click the companion. They just, did they use a sound effect of? <laughs> nice, they reused the sound effect from, I think it's a blood cleansing. And I don't have blight cleansing? Whoa. That I think is new. You could always cleanse blight before. So it seems like they changed that piece, but um, I do love this. I don't know what the little, that's cool. You can click on that. And then I guess, all right. Oh, it's like a temporary. Oh wow, there's a lot going on here. Oh no, okay, you can. You can cleanse blight. You have to click. Oh, that's what these spots are. Okay, they're indicating your blight cleansings. Whoa. <laughs> there is a lot going on. This is crazy. So, you can re-roll. And it looks like it costs you a seed. Is that what it's saying? I hover over it and it tells me? No. Okay, well, cleansing is two energy. That's no different. That's always been the case. Um, the cleanse re-roll, which might be this. I, I'm gonna use that when I actually want to. I think that would be me clicking this. Is my, oh no, I think that, uh, I don't wanna risk it, but. Let's first get established here and make sure that we're good. I don't know what you do, buddy. Claw, melee. 12 damage, okay, that's, I think, almost a DPS, what's the, what's the attack rate? Doesn't say, hmm. Yeah, I think that's a, a, an omission. But passive ability, Umbral Aura, deals double damage to enemies. Oh, whoa. Wow. So he's in the Blight Tiles. Like, if you put him around Blight Tiles, it's going to be really advantageous. That's really interesting. Uh, Shadow Scare is the active ability. All enemies adjacent to Shadow Links become terrified. They move faster, but backwards. Then they, when they come back in, they're immune. 
you can have other things terrify them. I, I, I think uh, Dreadwood has a similar thing. So Dreadwood could also scare them. But that's kind of cool to clarify. It's just that Shadow Lynx can't scare them again. Um, and actually, they're immune for three seconds, which is really interesting. If you make it a Blight Devil, he might run fast enough in the other direction. I don't know. To, like, get hit again with it. Or it also depends on your pathing around Shadow Lynx. Maybe it's a long path around him, so he could scare someone twice. Each enemy terrified by his effect takes two poison damage. Whoa. And does that last for a long time? I don't know. It's tough because there's a lot of stuff going on there, and I, I think the team's trying to put as much info as they can in a small bit. But, uh, I have to get used to the movement of this. I'm so used to just clicking around. It's a click, 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 click. I'll get used to that. But that's cool because I had provided some kind of feedback of like, well, how do you handle like the radiance thing? So now it might make sense, okay, for a plant, you click on the plant and then you apply radiance to that. But we'll see, because I do still see the radiance button down here. But let's get some stuff down. So what's gonna happen, these these little squirts are coming out uh, and I, I like them going through the ice. I could put this guy, in, yeah, I need to do maybe a blight cleansing. Uh, let's plan out a little bit long term. I like this one a lot because I could block this for the next round. I kind of want to take that. I'm not too scared of this round. And this is a nice, a nice juicy blight cleansing. So I'm going to click on that. We're going to do... Let's click it again to cleanse. Yeah, okay, so you click twice. Oh, and I like seeing, that's really cool. I like seeing the, the positions move. That's really neat, because you're you're always made aware of where you can cleanse, which I think is quite neat. Before, you always had to click Cleanse Blight to see uh, where it was, but now you can visually see right away. And that helps with immediate strategy. I think that's a really nice change. <laughs> wow, look at this cleansing, it just shifted over. Um, so now I'm set up to block that for next round. Which I made. Whoa, that's interesting. But I kind of want them all going through this way. Um, gotta get used to that. And then. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Options, options. Where do I go with this? I'm curious if this, ma if this map was randomly generated. I'm not sure. Wow, it's just, I'm, I'm taking in so much, and it's like... Now what I could do is... Something like... That. Because Dark Creeper, it's like, whatever. Other thing I need to be aware of is, so if I click this guy, uh, let's see if they change this. Vulnerability duration, that has not changed, so... I wouldn't mind. Yeah, my cleansings aren't great here. I might do. I might do this one. But I want to get a blast sword down somewhere. So I'm not. I don't, I don't know how he's gonna do because he might get overwhelmed. But I can use that active ability. I wouldn't mind getting like a blast sword just to help clean up a little bit at the end there. That's really all I have available. It's gonna be interesting. I might bleed a little bit here. I don't know what the cooldown is on this. Oh yeah, get it. Ooh, wow, he's ripping him up. Oh, he's got a good attack speed. That's, that might be sub one per second. <laughs> Looks just like my cat. <laughs> Smacks, love it. Um, what is that? Oh, shield drone. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see it. It's a bit low res there. Oh, cool, you can hover over these. Okay, the other ones seem to go away, but that's nice. Shield drone, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I love that, because I was missing having explanations of these guys. They do? Oh, isn't that weird? They, they actually list the damage as if they can attack. Might be a little hint for the future because they've never attacked. Oh, you know what it is though? It's, it's actually when they hit, when they land on your, that's what I think it's referring to. Like they'll do four damage to your harvester. Oh, nice, and they're indicating the radiance. 
Whoa. Oh, so I have to collect the radiance. Interesting. Why would I not? Is my question. Are there going to be some gameplay decisions later where if you don't collect it, there's some benefits to that? Maybe. But otherwise, Radiance is, is killer. Alright, so I'm going to do is block. I want to make sure they go the long way. I'll do a Tema. I'll do a Watering. Boom. Oh, I like the little animation there. This one might not be bad, but it uh, depends how the cleansings go. And what's the range on? Yeah, I'm assuming he's uh he he doesn't have more yeah melee is what it's saying. All right. Uh... Okay, now I've established this as kind of my path. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing cleansing here though because I'm gonna have to deal with this guy at some point. I got five waves to deal with. I'm gonna go for uh. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I did that a little quickly by accident. I don't like that spot because that's not going to uh, accept the water. So I'm going to put one here. Oh, I got this one too. That was a pretty nice cleansing. But I may want to send them up this way. I'm not sure yet. What do we got coming out? Uh, some little... Some little I'll do Fire Flower. I think that'll be quite effective. Um, if I can get some more energy, I'd love that. So I can do one more watering. Boom. And then I have another Radiance, I could do... Wouldn't mind that. Look at the- oh, that's cool, they go back to the home base after. That's so neat. So that thing is what's providing the Blight Cleansing opportunities, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I do like the floating numbers. They do look graphically a little different. Nice job, team. Ooh, okay, I didn't see that one there. I should definitely uh, be mindful of that. Hmm, okay, let's collect these. It's kind of a nice little, like, interactive aspect of it. I think it's quite cool. Yeah, I think this would be pretty, pretty clutch because I kind of want to extend this or send them a different way. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, nice. I like that rock there. That's really cool. I'm thinking this. Yep. Thorny wouldn't be bad. Last one's kind of involved at the end, which makes me a little, a little nervous. I wouldn't mind getting another Tema down here. Just for that long-term energy. Super clutch. And I'm assuming they didn't change that. Watering, bonus, plus one energy, yep. And then... Do I want Thorny or... Who's coming out of this? Oh, these little suckers. These guys are tough against, uh... They're immune to fire. It, I didn't know that. They take double ice damage. What? I was not aware of that. That would have been helpful to know <laughs> when I struggled against those in the past. Um, this guy, I, I'm a big fan of him just wiping out. Do like one, one shotting those. Uh, and then do I want four? This wouldn't be bad either. Oh, it actually sends them that way. Ew. Now they might still go down if I put an. It's hard for me to determine if that's going to be true. I was thinking if I put something there, it'll force them to keep going down. So I want some extra help here. I think it will. I, I could count it out, but I have a hunch that's going to work. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go look at... I want to do the extra energy because I want to get. <laughs> Thorny involved. 
kind of want to get Dark Creeper in there more. I don't really like that he's like not involved at all. I think it'll be worth it for me to move him over here this round to get that going. I wouldn't mind some splash damage on this, or maybe some extra range. Splash, I think, is so clutch, though. All right, let's do that. Feeling decent about this. Dude, that, that Thorny's helping out as little as, as slow as he's going. I want to see what this looks like. Hey, I can't actually use it. Oh, there we go. I think I could... That was a cool sound. What's with the, uh... Oh, they tell you the actual... I think that it's indicating the volume of them. Armor 2, the first two damage of each attack is negated down to one damage minimum. Ice immune, immune to ice damage and ice effects. Fire vulnerable. Yeah, that was interesting because I don't think the fire crawler indicated they had armor 2. Could have overlooked that, but I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. How would I go? I wouldn't mind blocking that up. Check it. So from that. That bolt, blood cleansing, that spot will definitely be cleared. That's like the rule. Um, oh, I put a rock there. Ah. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. I'm going to probably go... All right, let me move this guy. Oh, yeah, I kind of want to stay there long term. I think I'm going to move over here. Can I get, uh, let me pick up my Radiance. Almost forgot about those. I'm thinking... Oh, I gotta, yeah, see, I, I was thinking click the plant and then apply Radiance, but I have to click Radiance and then... Plus two zone, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna put them here. Oh, but I, oh, that was so dumb of me. I just realized I'm gonna be, it's wasted energy, it's fine. I want to move him there. I gotta deal with this dumb mistake. Um, yeah, I wasted a little bit of energy there, but ease with the ease. I want to get back here and then go over here. I want him a bit more involved, so I'll put him there. I definitely want to get a watering down. I'm glad I still have energy for that. Um, I would mind Firefly being a bit more involved for this. Granted, I gotta kind of move him back after, but... Maybe I'll just put Ice Thistle there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, like, shift the path around just to, like, keep up with everything. Uh, I wish I would have loved another watering here, but... Um, I think what will be really advantageous is this for this round. That'll help out a lot. And I think we feel pretty good about this. Yeah, Blastor is going to kill it up there. There's a ton of status stuff they have. Look at all those. Oh, yeah, because I have the armor. Wow. Wow. He single handedly cleared him out. Okay. Which way do I want him to go? Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Now, if I can send them up a bit, a longer path, that would be really cool. Like, have them go up and around. That would be great. To do that, I would have to... Get a blight cleansing I don't have. If I Jerberu, it'd be easy, but... Yeah, they're all up here. Hmm. I might just focus on watering and beefing up this. This is the final wave, so we're dealing with... Wow, a good amount of armored guys. That's huge. Um, uh, uh, a big problem that I'm dealing with is I, did, I went for the plus two radius instead of the... Um, 
ability to remove their armor, so that, that could bite me pretty bad. I think I think this guy has an ability. But I think it's his level his tier two. Ah no. This guy might do decent against armor, I don't really know. I think they changed that. I don't think that's what it used to be. That's definitely new. Volcano. Convert this plant's tile into a lava tile. That is really interesting. So you could actually have him convert it to lava and then move him the next round. That's neat. That's different from Aquifer, unless they change Aquiferns, where it uh, is water only for the turn. Ooh, I gotta think about this carefully. I'm trying not to get hurt too, because I don't, I don't know if there's perks to that. What's that guy? Slimeling? Okay. Just the little ones? Yeah. Yeah, see, the Bangle Crawl doesn't have, doesn't say he has armor too. Whereas Ice Crawler had, did have armor too. Hmm, I'm gonna try to... Ah, this is tricky. I wouldn't mind them going down this way into the ice a bit further. Because that'll give Muscle Branch a bit more time. I don't think I'm going to be able to swing them up that way. Dark Creeper's in a really good spot. <laughs> He's covering it all. all right, I might put this guy here. And then... And I do kind of want them him on, because he does extra, what is it, extra damage. Uh, each enemy terrified by this effect takes two poison damage whenever it enters a new tile. That's cool, but also the passive, the double damage on Blight. So that's going to be quadruple damage. It will do 48 damage. Oops. That is crazy. Alright, uh... I, I'm feeling this. I do want Blastwort involved, so I, I'll probably do Blastwort over here. We got Watered. I do need... Thorny somewhere, though. And maybe I put this guy up here. And then I put Thorny here. Just so he's involved more in the fight. He won't get leveled up. Maybe even here so I can water it. I think that's going to be a good... I'm just trying to maximize... All that. And then, um... Can I get this guy? Oh, plus 30 damn. That might be clutch for the, uh... I think they upped that, did they? They might... He seems to be doing more damage. I think he's doing more damage. I don't think it was this high before. They must have done some rebalancing. I, I, I have to, like, restudy all these, because they're... They all seem a little different. There's some ch some changes. All right, let's do radiance. Um, we're gonna go for. <clears throat> Attacks prefer non frozens. I think that'd be really cool. And then, can I get like a seed down or something? I don't think so. I can put the aquifer down, but I don't think that's gonna be really helpful anywhere. Anywhere else, it better I can put this. Um, links. No, I think that's good. All right, uh, let's just give it a whirl. Huh? I feel pretty good about this, especially with that muscle branch. He's doing, uh, I think, 75 damage. Watering bonus. Oh yeah, yeah. It's plus 15. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, they're getting wrecked. Oh, that, that's what. Oh, that's what that indicates. They were like glazed over. That just means they're frozen. I, I like that visual indicator. They seem slowed down too. They're showing the ice. Wow, we're wrecking them. But that guy's a beast. How come he? Oh, you know what? Because I think he, that one's stuck by the shadow links. Oh, that was a good battle. I'm just like getting used to the interface and stuff. Um, but I really, I really dig the changes. Really, really happy about those. All right, terrible, a terrible blight storm. Oh no. I would have hit one anyway. Oh yeah, I should also pay attention to that. Like, these seem to be bad. It seems to be. It could be wrong, but these two were were giving me stuff, and then these is it? I think me giving something away. 
Fair enough. A Blightstone forces you to abandon an uninfusion. Okay, that's a very... Ooh. Oh, nice, nice. Lucky. Oh, I wonder if that was because I didn't get hurt. It might have been. Maybe. Or maybe it was just sheer luck. Oh, you can't? Okay, you can't zigzag around. I was wondering if you could. Can you? I'm gonna click on it. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, you have to proceed in towards the right. That's good to know. Oh man, what is this? Aquifern's like, yeah! <laughs> Throw me in the river. It's not a river, it's a lake, but... Um, maybe it's an underground river, who knows? Wow, this is an interesting map, so... I mean, what I could do... And wait, are you on the water, dude? Yeah, cat's like, whatever. I can go on water. All right. Cats hate water, but most do. I'm not gonna complain about that, but I would ideally get him on Blight so to do double damage. I could put him there. Wow, this is weird. I'm trying to figure out, like, I have an aquifer, and so that's cool, but this is a wonky map. Cause I could I could gum this up, right? So you have to make the decision. Do you send them and you can block this up? You do something like that. And that I think would generally be a better approach. Unless you had like a shock stock, which I don't, but you got a shock stock and you got it, you got them in a good spot. Which there really isn't one, because it's there's like but if you could, they would walk through this and they could get wrecked. But the really only spot you could is if you put shock stock here and then force them. Even that, that wouldn't work. Yeah, so I don't think this is even a good viable shock stock path. I think what I need to do is do a block like that. And then I kind of want to take that or that one of those. But I do want to lay down some important turf here. So I'm going to go here. Oh yeah, I have to... I think Shadow Lynx needs to stay. Can he go on top of this? Nope. Oh, that's a crummy situation though. I might need to really emphasize my pathing. Now, what's coming out? I should, always, I should get in the habit of checking that. Double splimes, E. I'm not a big fan of that. But if I have a double damage, Shadow Link's doing, so 24 HP, guess what? Because if you if you one-shot them, or you, I think if you kill them when they have above 50%, I might tell you here. When HP drops to 50% or below, they split. And actually invincible, I didn't realize that. They're invincible for three quarters of a second. E so it's not ideal, so if you can one-shot those guys, that's great. And you can, because this guy, you can you don't even need, you don't even need Dark Creeper. As long as this thing's on Blight. But my challenge is how do I get this guy over <laughs> to be involved without having them go through water? I might need them to go through water this round. Do something like this, just to really make sure we kill them. Before I do that, I kind of want to check my cleansing after I do this. Because if they give me that, I, I, I have to take that. I'm going I'm to take this one. Ooh, nice. An ice spot. Ooh, close. I have to try that next round. But I think for this round, really just want to emphasize... Now what I'm worried about... I'm, I'm thinking of doing Muscle Branch and Shadow Links. Because if I do that, I don't have to worry about the... the um, Slimelings busting open. Double splimes, I should say. And then a little bit of cleanup. Is this gonna be free? Does it cost money to just put an aquifer down? I think it does. I can't remember. Because if it's free, I would just put them down. And DPS, they actually do the same. Blastoid, however, has more range, but the only place I could put him is here. So I'm gonna try and put 
this guy down. Keeping in mind that in future rounds, I might actually have him help out by being there, but I don't want to maximize. I can, I can move him freely. It does cost money. I think once, yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that they, they're telling you how much it costs. That's really neat. So I can move him freely in there, but this will just, he'll do some cleanup if it's necessary. Cause I am a little bit worried about, but uh, Shadow Link seems to move, attack pretty darn fast. He's like, he's like sub one, he's attacking, I think more than once per second, if not once per second. Nice job team. I uh, you know what's cool too is I think the radiance is dropping relative to what happened, so I didn't get hurt. I think that rewards me, and then um, the the last enemy died, and it also dropped. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? I just got some shield guys. So three attacks are negated. I think fire flower would be attacking very quickly. Three attacks per second, so he'll rip up shields, if I'm not mistaken. So I think I definitely want to get a Fire Flower down. I may also introduce a Lava Tile, just to kind of... Like if I have Ice and Fire, that would be really cool. And I also wonder if you'd convert this to Fire. After. Because I think that would be my, my desired path, is for them to go through there. I don't want to put a plant there. But this round I do. So I want to put Fire Flower there. Also Branch, uh, I don't know if I'll move him yet. Let's get this guy over, see what's up. Um, again, I want Shadow Links to be kind of at the end. He's kind of really good at like the edge. That's pretty cool. Last word. I wouldn't mind Dark Creeper too, I do want to make some space for that. Uh, they gave me a nice cleansing here too, which is quite tempting. I do want to get Blast Word down and Dark Creeper. I'd love the splash. Would love a watering on that. Yeah, I might move this guy up and then put Dark Creeper there. Get a watering. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. And then I'll go for the plus one. Did they get rid of the armor thing? I thought armor was the first round. I could be wrong, it might be the second. I'll have to take a closer look. I, I believe they had this before. I think they changed the icon, which I, I quite like. And then I think this will be good. Range is still one on this guy, so not helping out. I do want to see what their abilities are. I can't anymore. Okay. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, should I move Bustle Branch up here? Yeah, probably. It's going to help out a heck of a lot more than... Uh... Wait, is that saying they actually... Will... No, okay. Okay. I have my Shadow Scare too, which I might do. Oh wow, yeah, we're wrecking the house. I haven't seen those nullifiers yet. Those are the, the beastly ones. I might scare them to see how that goes. That's awesome. I think it was like the ones just adjacent. Adjacent to Shadow Link, so you can time it well. They all back out. Oh, that's awesome. I love Shadow Links. I still love Jerburu because of the pathing, but from like. This cat's a beast. Which makes sense. Cats are like crazy. Crazy predators are so good. So it makes sense that um, they're very good um, on the offensive. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of stuff coming out of there. Yeah, I think those meters say like how much more of a certain thing's coming out. That's my guess. That's a nice little quick heads up. I do like how you can just hover over and see that at a quick glance. If you want more detail, you click into it. Uh, 
Um, I find that like the hover is a little awkward on this modal. Like it, it, if I cl if I click, it shows up, and if I go this way, it's gone. I have to like tread like right in this little bridge here, pixel wise, or I lose it. You know, if I go, oh sorry, I lost it. So that's kind of a bit of precision. That's a little a little awkward, and it kind of stayed there for a second. Oh, that's weird. So I find that a little awkward. And then should like the background still be showing up? That makes things a little hard to read. Like maybe make this solid instead of semi, like tr instead of translucent. <clears throat> Alright, let's collect all my goodies here. And uh, we're gonna do... Oh, I forgot to actually do the radiance on that. I wanna... I want to do it for the last round. Convert this plant's tile into a lava tile. At the end of the build phase, so it'll be right after this. Um, I definitely have to do something about that. <laughs> uh, do we have cleansings? No, no, no. I'll go, worst case is I go there. Now, I kind of want to try this reroll thing to see how that goes. I, I don't really understand that. It seems to suggest I'm going to lose a, a succeed. Let's try it. Oh, it's an infusion, yeah. To refresh the cleanse tiles. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think Tema Herb actually has an ability, but that would use a Radiance, so I'll, I'll try this. And I wonder if I lose them forever. I'm assuming no. Yeah, it didn't help me at all. Oh, it was just that clan. It was just that tile. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think if I just, if I saw it correctly, it just moved that one I selected. And that costs you a. Wow, interesting. Yeah, okay. I like the option. So if you're really in a pinch, you can kind of do that. But I'm gonna have to move this guy over. I can't have him. Unfortunately, it's not going to be as effective down there, but there's a lot of stuff coming out. I'm a little nervous about that if I just leave them, but uh, can I do anything else? If I had another aquifer and I could block, ugh, that stinks. Is there an ability where you can take up more space? <laughs> no, we didn't change those. Crud. Now this guy should be doing some good work there. I do want to see the other abilities here. Okay, they do still have Danger Zone, that's what I missed last round. I don't see any armored guys, so I'm not gonna necessarily go for that. I wouldn't mind jacking them up. What do you got? Attack stuns the enemy for one second. I think I just need to get another... I have a ton of energy, so there's at least that. I could do a cleansing and see, and then get a, a, a whole reroll, which I think would be worth it. I really want to block that if I can. All right, so let's do a cleansing up here. They're not giving that to me, huh? This one's not bad either, because I can beef up. What's going on here? Interesting. Yeah, they're not giving that to me. That's a bummer. I'm gonna have to block that with my body. And then... I think just line up. Like, a bunch of, a, a bunch of bases are not bad. They do certainly help. Just like, cause there's a lot of this stuff coming through. I kind of want to just make sure they're softened up by the time they get up there. And then I'm gonna do. I might as well do something here just to be safe. I'll do a stun, so that gives. I think one attack every two seconds. So he only stuns, I think, for a second. It said so. That's not that helpful when he's by himself. Maybe I move him down here. I have to be careful about them now going that way. They probably would. So I think we're. Ooh, look, there's a water tile there, huh? That would block, I can't put him there, but that's kind of interesting. 
All right, we're gonna do play. I don't think there's much else I can, I can put a Tema down, but is that really helpful? Probably not. All right. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, this guy's not in the most helpful position, but he's doing 22 damage. I find it interesting. I guess that might be considered Blight. That might be considered Blight Tower. It kind of makes sense. I thought it'd be... Oh, yeah, it would be because 24 and then 2 armor. So he was actually still doing double damage there, which is awesome. All right, we have to watch out for armor. Wow, look at that. All right, definitely got to look out for that. So I, I want to jack up. Uh, did I get hurt? No, okay, I couldn't find my other radiance. Um, yeah, I definitely want to get fragile. The danger zone? That'll be huge. And then... I'd like to send these guys around, so I, I ideally move this guy. Oh, it didn't work! The volcano doesn't work for that type of tile. Oh, what a bummer. I wasted that then. I know you move him and then I wonder if it where you move him it that sticks around. You could make some pretty cool lava pathing doing that. But I'm, I'm a bit bummed that didn't actually register. Um, I'll move him down. And Wouldn't mind a nice thistle. Okay, I wouldn't mind this moving over. And then you come in down. Oh, I gotta watch out for this guy though. Ugh. Darn it. I was totally focused on this side. Cause now they're gonna wanna go that way. And they don't wanna give me that cleansing. I think, oh man. I, mean, I think these guys can fend on their, they, they can do their own thing, but still. I think if I do that. Maybe get Aquifern over there. Aquifern's getting all jacked up. I want Aquifern in the fight at this point. Because they're doing good. They're doing, uh, they're gonna be doing eight damage. That's not bad, and then double damage. That's quite great. Um, so I think they'll be pretty good. I'm gonna move over here. I doubt I'm gonna get this cleansing. Oh, I do want to do a little bit of scrubbing here, but I'll be out of energy at that point, which stinks. So I would have liked fire flower involved there, but that being said, the fire flower really the main point of me getting that was to take care of these kind of enemies with shields. So not too bad. Last wave, I don't really care about putting Tema down. Like, I want to cleanse, but then it's like I have no energy left to do anything, so... Um, I think I'm just gonna jack up some basic seeds. Um... Might not be bad to put this guy up there. Because then he would be hitting everybody. And I think these guys would go through the ice. Yep, they would, which is also nice. So why not? And then, um... I'm gonna be doing probably very little, but... I think this is actually, yeah, I think this is more important than them going through ice here. So I'll, I'll just set that back. Okay, I, I feel <laughs> this guy's unfortunately doing nothing, but I can't go here. So I don't really have a choice. This is a really weird map. But yeah, I think they're gonna get wrecked here. That, that Dark Creeper re removing the armor is clutch. Absolutely clutch. I'd be, I'd be totally doomed without that. It's even, they're still struggling. Oof, still not making me feel great, but uh, that was the, the thing I was most scared about. This is gonna be, I think, pretty darn easy. Fireflower, I did, uh, took a little risk putting him a bit later, but I think we did pretty fine there. A catch of spare infusions. I wouldn't mind getting a thorny back. Your companion rushes ahead into the left. When you catch up, you see what was so exciting, a well-preserved trunk containing infusions. You take some, leaving the rest for other rangers and their companions to discover. All right. You definitely want a thorny. I wouldn't mind shock stock. Maybe some real good opportunities for shock stock if you get one. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, this is interesting. I think it's pretty cool is you get more options here. And a mystery one, which... I think more of these were mysteries. I'm not sure when these get revealed. I think as you kind of clear the blight, things become known. I think these were on mysteries earlier. I kind of feeling, let's see if it tells me anything here. I catch a spare infusions. Yeah, it's the same. So I'll, I'll go this way. Typo there. A, uh, undisused. Just use Alchemist's hut with a note pinned to the door. Take infusions if you want them, leave some for others. Thanks. Yeah, I think I'll take another thorn. Yeah, do you? Well, I, might, I don't mind blast word either. Really depends what we're going to be up against, but I think thornies are quite effective. And then if I can get a situation where I have a lot of like watering of Tema, I would not be opposed to that. And uh, can I continue? Oh, okay, I think you can actually can continue before you had to like pick more. I think. Uh, do I want to? Maybe. <laughs> but if you oversaturate things, sometimes you don't have enough fighters. So I'm going to do another blast wart. That does bump Dark Creeper out, unfortunately. Um, I might do Fire Flower because I do have the red artifact. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Wow, and this is interesting. So what does it say? Oh, that's to regenerate, right? Okay. Which does then make you go up against these two battles, which might be harder. I'm gonna go this way, because I'm really curious what this is. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, because this is two battles here. There's three... Um, ...sources here. And so I might want to emphasize the bottom. This is a really interesting spot for water. But a two-range aquifer could be really helpful there. Um, I would want Dark Creeper to be kind of centralized. I think I did grab two of them, but that's a weird spot for ice, but okay. Because Ice Thistle only has one range. This is a nice spot here if I can get them to go like up and then around, that would be really good. But I need some really careful placement. Like I need to block those three, block that. This is kind of attempting cleansing, but I can't overextend on my first round. I do need to make sure that I can clear out this. This isn't really scary. I might do a similar approach with like me and Muscle Branch. This is nice too, because I can do a Dark Creeper and get the watering. That's like a good long-term play. I'm definitely gonna take that. Too, too good to resist. And then I'll put a... Uh, this guy in that zone. A Little bit of double damage zone. Still has an exposure to three, excellent. Exposure to four, excellent. Uh, this is about as good as I can ask for here. I think I'll do a Shadow Scare back into Muscle Branch. This is going to be a lot of guys coming in here. So if I need to do a Scare, I will. I don't want to use it if I don't have to. Excellent. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. I was like, whoa, he's getting by. I like how those are all out. They're fun to <laughs> hover over. Okay, got some nullifier. If we can get like a, a rapid attacker, that would be good. We don't have any. So I think we just have to do a ton of attackers. Um, this one could work. I think I have to clear out some stuff here anyway, so I think I'm gonna definitely take this. All right. That is fantastic. Okay, so what I can do is boom. He's kind of hitting on a double damage blight zone. If I can extend his range absolutely will aquifern get him on the map because 
plus one range, boom, and then they, uh, Aquifer is contributing on the top and bottom, and then just extend this out a little bit. What I'd like too is that uh, the Shadow Lynx is helping out. He's only seen two tiles, but he's able to help out at the tail end. I might put a, I'm tempted to do a double um, Tama and water them, but I may need that ice to sort of kind of help out. Because I do need, the other thing too is just another basic seed might be, might be worth it. Just to get more, more damage, because I need, I need to take down some shields. That's like the big thing here. It's just output. Because I don't have a ton of, I mean, the Shadowlands stacks pretty quickly, but there are a lot of, they're saying there's a lot of shield drones. Which those are not the, the big ones, so I guess I'm not that concerned. I, I could take a risk here and do the double Tema with water. The downside is I don't have as I have like half the damage coming out because to maximize damage I could do basic seed up here, get a little bit more output. I might do a... Actually never mind because I'm just realizing that even if I did two Temas I can't water them, I only have two energy left so I'm gonna do, just go for the extra damage here. There we go. Yeah, this will be, I think, a cakewalk. And that could be more strategic about what I actually put there. Like, I probably want to put Tema here. I want to put, like, I want to put, like, a Thorny there or something. And then a Blast right here. That'd be really nasty. Basically takes care of the top. Oh, yeah, this is a cakewalk. Great. I'll take that. Thank you. I think the exclamation point's cool. It did call my ice to that, but I haven't looked at that yet. So, a lot of ice crawlers. We got splimes, double splime. Ooh, blight devils. Oh my goodness. They put blight devils there? That is rude uh, because they're fast. And that's the only thing I gotta deal with this round, so. I have no cleansing, so wow. That is rude. Um, I could cleanse here. My concern is that it could potentially block that, so... I, well, no, because if, if you cleanse there, it will definitely clear that. And it might, like, put a rock here or something, so I'm kind of willing to take that. Um, is it that critical, though? I don't know. I might I might prefer this. I do want to get some flexibility here, because I do want to block. I'm hoping that I get... I, I need to do a cleansing, because I need to get something, hopefully, here. So I'm going to go for this one. Oh, that's a nice ice. Oh, that's beautiful. And I get this one. I think I'm gonna, I can either move. Well, yeah, no, I, I definitely have to because I didn't get this, but let's see what we get for this. That's great. I'll take that. That worked out pretty well. Um, I wouldn't mind blast work. I might get some armor, guys. There's like four more waves after this. I, I'm gonna hold out in terms of the armor. I might need that. I think for now, uh, what do we got coming out? I think a Blast Sword with Splash will be good, and I wish Aquafern was a bit more involved. I'm gonna need some serious damage output here though. I only have two energy left. Ah. I do have two Radiance, so I think I need to at minimum get this guy down. If I can get a watering, that would be nice. That's gonna be tough though. And then it's like, do I put down another plant? Do I. This is not a lot of damage. I think the splash is gonna be pretty clutch. Um, I think a fire flower early would help to just soften things up. Can I go here? I'd rather have him at the end, I think. Or me, yeah. Can I even go here? Alright, so it's a subtle thing, but I think big because now this exposure to three tiles, not just one, that's really big. Uh, I do have one more. 
energy. I mean, in retrospect, I may not want to have wanted to use the radiance for that. I could do shock stock here. Not a bad idea. Will I think technically get some hits off? Last second. I, I don't know if I'll need it, but I love this guy doing double damage on his own without even needing Dark Creeper. Oh, there's a lot coming. I should probably. Oh no, I don't know. Oh, that is so close. Oh, that was close. I'm trying to go flawless here. Uh, okay. I really like the path up here. I'm gonna go back up here. That's really amazing. Thorny. Would be lovely. I should look first at what's going on. That's perfect, because there's shield guys. Water is amazing there. That Tema's gonna be giving me extra energy. If I could do another Tema, I would love some extra energy. I'm thinking of moving Muscle Branch down. I don't, ah, ah. I'm not convinced yet. That could be pretty cool. Big guy is coming. That's good for Muscle Branch. And Ice Crawlers. Um, what did they say? Are they, are they, they're weak to fire? Double fire damage, so I definitely want to get this fella involved. And then... mind watering right here, I think. I'm not worried about the top, especially Shadow Lynx is helping out up there. I might just do a Tema just to get that extra energy, so next round I have 9, because I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. I also like that you can hover while I'm still holding a plant, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't have to click out to see that. Um, so Ice cr Crawler. Yeah, I'd say do that. Wow, that's great. And then I have two Radiants. And if I do get hurt this round, it would stink because I, then I might get myself locked out of getting the danger zone. I would love to, in order to mitigate that, do some enhancement. Like plus four damage is insane, which is great because I haven't been leveling them up and that immediately makes them basically a level five, which is insane. And then why not throw in a little extra damage? Sure. Um, and you know what? I'm seeing Aquifer is going to be a lot more helpful up here. Right? A lot more helpful up there. Still going to be getting leveled up. And then this. This is very, very cool. Um, now, do I want to move one of these guys to get the extra? I think two level ups is plenty good. Uh, I feel really good about this. So let's rock and roll. of them going to that double damage and they're it's like they're getting hit right here which is incredible by both these two that have two range amazing putting up a good fight there what is going on there why are they looking so strong i gotta check that out did they change them it looked like they had like two health bars that might have been some uh, a status effect or something i don't know what that was Doesn't make any indication of that. Hmm. I don't know why there's two meters. All right. Yeah, I would love to not have to have Shadow Links block that. Because now we're in a precarious situation where uh, if I can do a pretty innocuous blight cleansing, I, I think that I'd be willing to do that. Because if I can get one of those here. I get nervous about these because I don't want a rock to show up here. I love my uh, pathing right now. So I think I'm going to do like a pretty innocuous cleansing, like maybe over here. I have nine energy, so I've basically got this for free. It's basically a free reroll. Uh, didn't really help me. Not good. 
I could do it. Worst comes to worst, I'll do this, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. I might have to do another cleansing, just roll again, because I need to really want to try to keep my pathing, and I think we'll be fine. I don't really need to do a whole lot. I do have the armored guys. I definitely have to go. Oh no! Oh no, hold on. There it is. Whew, I got scared. I forget to pick those up. Um, okay, so I definitely want a radiance. Uh, it, my feedback would be that it makes sense that water and always costs two. The radiance could cost one or two, so I don't know that this should say one on it. So here I'm going to spend two. Alright, so I'm going to do danger zone. Definitely want to disarm those shields. Now I'm a little nervous about how much... I mean, I don't have a whole lot at the end here, and that makes me think that they're going to get through. Blast works great. That's great. I need. I feel like I need some more damage. I ice thistle would slow him down. I think that would be really clutch. Um, and if I can get the pathing for this to be better, because right now it is not good, which means I have to do another cleansing. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't mind trying to get like something here, like acid or lava. This I don't want to get covered because then I'd be really screwed. So I'm gonna go up here. Come on, ugh, they're not giving me that, or that. Brutal. Really trying to get that. And I, I guess with the challenge too is if I'm avoiding this spot, it's more places for the, the, the little indicator to go. I can't block this. I think this is a kind of safe bet. Oh, so close. It gave it to me. Oh, but I can't do anything for it this round. But it is there for next round, and that it would be ideal. So this is high risk, because it's like there's not really anything helping out up there. I don't know what else to do, though. I can't have them go. I might bring Shadow Links up here. Will that be better? Yeah, probably, because he'll be doing uh, quadruple damage, so I think that'll be really key. Maybe like the Gatekeeper, and then... <sighs> I need I need him to help out down here. I don't know that these guys can hold it down, but this makes me nervous too. Oh, and they did put a rock there, so they, they solidly stopped that. I think for next round, I want to have that cleansed. Now everything's cleared out. They cleared they cleared that in that. Oh come on. Now it happened. I probably needed to roll roll here a bit. It would have been risky, but it worked out, but this round I might I might get hurt. Um, what I think I could do to help out is bring Thorny over. Because I gotta I gotta take those shields out. This guy's gonna be attacking randomly. That guy will not be attacking randomly. And if he can if he can attack things that are without a shield, that would be clutch, because that's one of the biggest damage outputs I have right now. My concern, though, is that Thorny would be outside the double damage zone, but at least he's, he's helping out. Whereas right now he's not, so... That's about all I can do. Does this make me nervous? Yeah. Do I have another choice? No. So let's do it. He's such a wuss. But the bottom's actually looking pretty darn good. Don't tell me that you guys would have handled it all on your own. Freaking muscle branch, dude. Oh, the top's holding out. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was sweet. Good job, team. Now we're set up for these last two waves. I had to do it. I can't believe I did like what four cleansings in a row. Man. But now we're like. Oh yeah, this is gonna be... Oh wow, and it's all the top. So I'm gonna actually keep Shadow Links down here for this round. What I think is cool to see too is now that you have to click the companion, you can see exactly where you can put the companion, which is awesome. Before, it was kind of like you're clicking around. 
So I really do like it. I have to get used to that change, but I really like it. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind Shadow Links being down here. Because of all those Blight Tiles. Now granted, it was kind of, well, I did clear that, so I really want to get Shadow Links like... Ideally near a double damage to Blight Tile, but there's only two. Which granted, I could, I could move this guy. I was like, how bad do you want the double damage? I think long term I want, I want him up here. But there's nothing there that round, this round. I also want to get a water in here, this is terrible. Hmm, I wouldn't mind something, uh, what, what's coming out of here? Ooh, I wouldn't mind Ice Thistle over there. Well, there's one, I have one in the middle. Muscle Branch, I hope it doesn't get too inundated because we're gonna have Blight Brutes coming through and these big guys. Oh, yeah, there's Brutes on this side too. Oh man, there's a lot. I, I definitely need Shadow Link's involved down here because I wouldn't mind moving Ice Thistle. But I gotta be careful about that. I can move him here and then, because I want to get uh, this guy swiping on here, because that's going to be quadruple damage. Ice Thistle freezing at that, that late, though, it gives me pause. Granted, we'll have two helpers. Hmm. But I do also like Ice Thistle freezing right in front of Muscle Branch. Especially if I can do the prefer non frozens. Fire Flower, I like. You want them early because they're gonna that damage kind of is a slow burn. I think a thorny here would be kinda cool too. It's just this is a really, a really tough little bottleneck. I don't have a lot of room to really where all my guys are involved. I love where Blastword's position is. I wouldn't mind Shockstock being down here at least this round, get some water, help out. I think that would be a very worthwhile move. Uh, I wouldn't mind having... That's kind of the path though. I was thinking of watering here and then putting a Tema. I could do here, well not really. I could do here and water both of these. That's not a bad idea. Cost me two energy, but it'll net me some good energy in the final wave. Is it worth it though? Maybe not. I wouldn't mind watering this spot right here. To get these two watered, I think that's a good move. Yeah, I think that's plenty. I'll have nine energy next round. I think I should focus on... I think Shadow Link's here. <laughs> I got him iced. Oh man. I'll make a note of that. Uh, he's got iced. <laughs> I like his. Oh, I like his tail. So cool. Yeah, but re anyway, the reason why I like that is he'll be swiping these two, and that's gonna be um, some great damage there. The other option is putting him here, so get the damage, but get double damage. And he's helping with like traffic management, because that's where they're all getting congested. I could do something like, well, no, I want them to go up that way, so that these guys are helping out. These two uh, have great range. Fire flower, get that burn going on. Is there any fire? No, that, uh, yeah, I think that would work out pretty well. I'm getting this guy watered. I'm pretty much getting tapped out on resources here. Now, what's this guy got for radiance? I want to see if they changed anything. No, nope, that looks the same. Did they change anything on Tema? I think they changed that. Convert all blight, clen blight within two tiles. Wow. Wow, that used to be, I think, random. 
I'm guessing they saw that like not a lot of people used it. Cause it was like, I don't know if that was really worth it, but now that's actually really worth it. You could put a Tema down. I just, I could have, I could put the Tema down like around here and just cleansed it all. That's really interesting. Granted, it's two Radiance. But I mean, I love, Radiance is fun. It adds a whole layer that it's really, really fun. I'm gonna probably do the non-frozen. I think that could save my tail. And then making a lava tile for the final round would be kind of interesting. But I kind of like the pathing I have. Um, should I go for... All right, kind of sweet. Cause that's gonna be nasty. That's 120. That's, oh man, it's gonna be 120. And if he's hitting right there, that'll be 240. That's absurd. He'll one shot things. I think that's gonna be awesome. Uh, do I water? Do I put a thorny down? I kind of want to water this guy, honestly, because this looks so sad. Like out in the desert. And I'm going to guess something in that next wave, so I kind of want to do something for him. Question is, do I spend a seed, move, and then water? I think yes. Put him back where he started. And then water that. That'll just long-term serve me better. So I'm going to put some stuff up there next round. Okay, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, there's still going to be a lot of big guys, but Muscle Branch is going to be like, what's up? And I can scare them back into Muscle Branch. They're doing pretty good in the bottom left, even without Muscle Branch. And double damage, that's impressive. Wow, they're smoking them. Wow. Yeah, I'm curious about that purple thing. I don't know what that's about. Oh, maybe it's just the red is like the empty part of the meter. This may be what they're going for there. What in tarnation are you? Oh, it's a repair Goliath. Goliath? Used to be called Golem. We call them Goliaths now. Oh, I like that. They're very specific. Uh, heals 25 HP for not taking attack damage. I was wondering about that. Auto Mender is, a, I think, a little more chill about it. They're, uh, same, okay, same duration, just, uh, 15 HP. And they have, they have 40 yet. Okay, that's good to know, because that rare, Repair Goliaths are a beast. Okay, I'm not worried about that. What's up here? Ooh, there are Repair Golems up here, too. Ugh, mean. Okay, but this will be good, because I'm going to bring up... <laughs> Ready to, like, pick me up. Pick me up. I'm gonna do that. Now what's interesting is will these two work well against repair going? Do they have armor? See, this is kind of the annoying thing. I can't there we go. I think there needs to be a delay, like they need to delay. If I go if I go too slow, <laughs> it goes away. But sometimes it yeah, it goes away anyway, even if I go quickly. Um Yeah, there's no armor, so I think I mean, two thornies could do pretty decently. Would something else help? Yeah, I mean, I think a fire flower would be pretty clutch up there because it's going to stop them from healing because it's constantly barraging them with uh, damage, so it ensures that they really never get a chance to heal. Um, am I going to lose out? No, I think that's fine. Ooh, I, need, I need to have some variety. And then what I would do is probably put a thorny down here. I did have Shock Stock there earlier, but I think the Firefly is going to be more effective up there. Uh, what, what does this guy have? That's kind of cool too, Acid Damage. Which I think is quite interesting because... If I'm not mistaken, that will do, that will do Acid Stacks. Maybe. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's what Acid Damage does. And that could be super effective, just to give them that extra strength. All right, I think Thorny is gonna be great down here. I'll do a watering. And then, I mean, I feel good about the bottom. I wanna see what he's got, I'm just curious. Gains 10% damage per second. <laughs> that's new and that's awesome. 
Oh man, 10% damage per second. So he's getting jacked up. It's like he's like lifting his weights and then max 100%. So that is absurd because think about it, 90 plus 30 from the other radiance, 120. He gets maxed out here, 240, and then Dark Creeper Zone, 480. That's insane. That's like overkill. He's already a beast, so I don't want to do that. But that's cool to know like if you're fighting a bunch of Mega Splimes or something. I want to see what else we got. Ice Thistle, plus one second minimum freeze duration. For enemies frozen by this plant are fragile and vulnerable. Forget what fragile entails, but uh, vulnerable I think has to do with um, losing the armor. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I mean, I think a good one's gonna be. I, I want to see this in action. I want to keep an eye on that. I think that's gonna be really cool. I don't think I've really used that one a whole lot. I think I did once when I did all aquaferns in my other video, but this is gonna be pretty good. Uh, everyone's watered, watered up, so I don't really, I can't really use this five energy. I think what I'll maybe do is a cleansing and then just here or here, and then just add some more because these these guys are repairing, so I don't want to emphasize that too much. I'd probably do it over here. I don't really want to do it here because these guys, well, it, it won't necessarily be a bad thing because it will take down some of the shields. So that might not be bad. That'll make the top even easier. So you know what, I'll do that. They might get some repairs in, fine. Just kind of line them up. It may not seem like a lot, but you had up. I mean, that's 16 DPS right there. That is nothing to scoff at. I do anything else. Uh, I mean, whatever. I feel I feel pretty darn good about this. Let's see how it goes. It could be a lot. It's a final wave, so. Yeah, see, I don't know, because he has red, and then he has purple, so I, I still don't quite understand what that's doing. Oh wow, we're cleaning house. It's not even close. Repair going got decently far. Yeah, that was cakewalk. Alright. Um, nope. You can take a break in an outpost along the trail. Inside it are the tools which can regenerate your ever seat by 20 HP, but it will cost you an infusion permanently. Um, skip. Get to the end here. Hmm, so another kind of, whoa, man, this is bringing back a little bit of memories because there's a level in a previous playtest that's kind of similar. Not exactly, but a little bit, but it was just kind of two halves. Oh boy, so I think a similar strategy, I gotta kind of put Dark Creeper in the middle. Now granted, there's double splimes. This is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna actually have to split those guys up, I think. I don't have my, I like, I like doing the muscle branch. We cleaned house on those previous runs. Here, I think I just need to bolster up. I don't have that much help here. I think I'm just gonna go for... I also do the scare, so that you know what, I'm actually gonna go towards the end. Forgot about that. But here. I feel like we're getting a little overwhelmed. Scare them. That's a little... I don't like how little exposed he is. 
think I'm gonna go here. Uh, I do have one more actually, so I can do a fire flower. Oh, I forgot that I have uh, the red. Oh, and this will be free too. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like, how do I still have energy? Uh, I don't even think I can spend this. All right, that's fine. That kind of helped out. So I might actually be okay here. That red artifact helped me out. I'm worried about those double. Wow, even those guys almost got through. That is terrifying. Scare them, scare them, scare them. Wow, they get really scared. That is awesome. That's just... Oh, wow. We... Oh, yes. Shadow Links. There was only one double spline that I saw, and the Shadow Links killed it. That was still terrifying. Like, they got really close. Whew. All right. Well, that's out of our way. Um, definitely got to emphasize... These guys kind of, kind of need to switch places, honestly. This cleansing is actually really cool, so I definitely want that. Oh, that one's tempting, too. Because I kind of want to put um, Blastwort here. I still don't have my, my Dark Creeper, and that kind of stinks. I kind of would want Thorny actually here. Now, granted, these guys I got to take care of, too, at some point. And maybe if they go... That would be kind of real. That would be really cool. What's coming out of here? Yeah, I need to like I need to get a thorny over here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bait on that. I'll keep and I'll keep this guy here, cause for this round at least. Now with this stink, I kind of like this thorny because he's gonna be wat watered, so I, I might actually put a new one down and water that. And yeah, it's free. <laughs> so I can put a Tema down and still water, which is amazing. That's awesome. I want some splash. And... If I save that... Maybe. A plus one damage, I think from a raw DPS perspective you can calculate it out. So at maxed out that would be... Uh, 6 times 4 is 24. If you do the speed, it's 7 times 4 is 28, or 6 times 5 is 13. I think the damage actually nets out better. That'll be pretty, pretty nasty. Um, I think Shadow Links, I think it's cool. It's, it's an interesting thing because having Shadow Links towards the end is nice because that scare is awesome, but you also want Shadow Links attacking where there's Blight. So I think a good spot would be. Oh, I'm curious what this will do. Yeah. Not great. How about here? That's pretty cool. So, primarily hitting here. I can scare them way back. That lasted a while, too. I think it was like three seconds. Alright, I'd say let's go. Oh, yeah, cakewalk. Oh, man, that blaster is knocking out shields. Nice work, team. Okay. Oh man, I don't have Dark Creeper. It's terrifying. I guess the armored guy's coming out, so I'm gonna have to make this path not great for them. Uh, this could be a really good cleansing, because I could probably, very, very likely, block this up without Shadow Links, which will let Shadow Links help out on this side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Excellent. Boom. Then sh uh, shock sock would not be bad there. Now what do we have on the right? I mean, I don't have muscle branch either. This is not great because that blipper is going to be nasty. I think shadow links is going to have to be the main defense against that. Those armor guys are not good either. They're going to be real tough. I could maybe use fire flower for that. So I'm probably going to do that. I think this is kind of an, uh, a gimme spot here. I think I have to take this. I think the ice this will be good to slow to and it'll be good against the fire. Yeah, definitely. Because that fire is actually not going to help out a lot there at all. It'll help out for the other guys, but even the brutes though, they're, they're so fast. I think I need to prefer non-frozens. Really make sure that they're all getting hit. I mean, Blastwort is helping out a bit on both sides, which is good. 
Now, the double shot would not be bad. I really want to get some extra shots out there. That's kind of cool. And then an extra basic seed will not hurt. Uh, where do I put it? Let's look again. <sighs> that one, this side makes me really nervous. The left side, less so. I think the Firefly is going to do some work. Then the, ar the armored guy could give me some problems. So which side do I put him on? Eh. It's both like exposure of one. Like one right there is so little and then one right there. I could do this one just a little better, but I don't know. Not, and I still want double damage, so this is going to be tough. I'm going to have to get by without Muscle Branch and without Dark Reaper. It's just the way the, the dice roll goes. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how, how good I feel about this. And I might move Shadow Links up to scare them back. That might be a clutch play. I think I'm going to do that. Do some well-timed, hopefully. Uh, shadow Scares. I got to time it real well, though. I think those brutes might get pretty far. Especially with the Blight Devils running in. It's gonna get spicy. Oh, we're doing good so far. Left hand side I'm nervous about. Okay, we're looking, looking good, looking good. I'm mostly focusing on the right, because that's where I have to click. Wow. Team. Oh man, another armored guys. No. Oh, I did scare him. Do you see that? That was crazy. I wasn't sure, because, uh, yeah, adjacent just means, like, on the same tile, so I saw him enter, and I was like, go for it, and he went back a little bit out of it when I made a difference, but... I gotta check the replay on that. <laughs> that was... I was like, I think that counts, and he's like... Because it's a little interesting moment where they can enter this tile, Seemingly, you have to check the replay, but I think he backed up a little bit. I was like spamming it right at the end, like... <laughs> I think it worked. All right, now I need to get this guy. Uh, okay. All right. Did I pick up a Radiance? One. Oh, I did use both. Oh no, no, no. I need one more Radiance. Can I do, can I do a conversion of Radiance? Because I need to... These guys, now what I can do in, in the interim is Muscle Branch. Thankfully they gave me that. And I gotta see what's over here. Oh, they kind of flipped it on me, that's mean. But at least I have this guy here still. Because these are kind of the, the shielded guys now. I think they're, I, I'll take my chance, I think they'll give me something. And I lose. I mean, they gave me this, which is cool, but... I ultimately needed more than that. Now I could think about... Yeah, see that's problematic. That's nice, but now this is open. Crud. I mean, it's not the worst. I could put something here, that's kind of cool. I could live with that. Um, I do want to emphasize bottom left, because those armored guys will be nasty. They do some decent damage. Six damage, three damage, that adds up. And the Brute's eight? Is that what it said? Get out of here. Yeah, eight damage, wow. These guys, not so much. That's annoying. They do eight damage too, wow. It's kind of a sneaky. Um, Thorny's kind of coming in at the end. I think Shock Stock would be really good because all of that would be getting hit. That's a really nice place. Oh, interesting. Are they letting me actually put that down immediately without a basic seed? That's actually kind of cool. I didn't, oh, wow, interesting. Because that makes sense. Instead of doing the basic seed and then the Dark Creeper, or they're just saying, hey, it's a spend two, and we'll, we'll put it down for you. That's actually really cool. It's a nice little efficiency. I never really thought of that. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking here. Muscle branch here, and then water them. That's gonna pretty much wipe me out. And then the question becomes, am I good on the on this side? Because I don't have much else helping me. I think it'll be decent there. I think that this guy, yeah, I think they'll be pretty good on this side. Um, so I, I would say go with the move. So 
So I'm thinking this. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking I'm out of energy. <laughs> I do thankfully have a radiance. I didn't count my energy correctly. And then that. And then I, I couldn't have spent for the next level anyway, so I'll do the plus one zone. Can I go here? Yeah. That might be good. I, and granted, that's not a good spot. I'll probably go here because of the blight spots. Oh, I actually had to stay there. That's why I'm there. All right, well, we'll have to make do with that. I might bleed on the left, but... Muscle Branch is there, but he's level one, so he's not exactly cleaning house. Like, that, is, that is insane. I think I'm gonna get walloped. <sighs> but... All right, what to do? I don't, have, I don't have any other choice. So I think the right-hand side is gonna be relatively easy. It's that left-hand side, they're doing okay. But then there's a bunch of guys coming. They're, they're even struggling with the little guys. This isn't gonna, I think I'm gonna get hurt on the, I'm gonna try to scare them. Come on, Muscle Branch, yes, yes. Oh, okay, cool, I forgot about double damage. So Muscle Branch, double damage, it's actually 60. Whew. That was clutch. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, you're gonna get toasted. So no, they're all squishy over here. And then um, that's huge, so I can do this. Fragile. Boom, water. Better believe it. Now I'm gonna probably do, I don't care so much about the duration because they're coming into the end of it. It doesn't matter that it lasts. So I'll do that. That's gonna be huge, because not a lot of time they're getting hit. So I really wanna maximize that damage when they are here. If he could do splash damage, that would be killer. He does have that. Oh, they might get rid of that. I didn't check closely enough if, they got, if that was still the second upgrade option. That was a really cool upgrade. What am I watering this Tema, or like moving him and then watering? Like to have a little Tema garden over here. <laughs> Am I watering up here? Yeah, I could water here and put a Tema there. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I want, I want to test that like immediate. Oh, you're right. That's the same difference as one. So I'll do that. I'll do. I'll do. Uh, I'll do this watering. I do. I mean, that'd be nice to water him there too. But I do have quite a bit of water, so. But I do want to get these guys too. So I'm gonna do, I'll do this. I'll do... Shockstock would be kind of nice to water. I think it's an extra attack. No, extra damage. Okay. And I'm great, I'm, I'm out. <clears throat> it's a very similar cast of characters on this side and now we have this no armor, so I think it'll be a cakewalk. Yeah, and they're gonna get, they're all gonna be leveled up. Grand, assuming that it's the same amount. I do like Shadow Links here to help out because those Blight Doubles can be real sneaky. So I gotta get my Shadow Scare ready. Uh, the Ice Thistle does totally snuff them. That's so clutch. All the Shock Socks just ripping them up. That is a great combo. And now we're there. Right side's pretty much done. Left hand side now is just starting. Wow, they're pretty strong on that side. But if they get into that end, that final strip, it's it's game over. Now I want to get Muscle Branch. Uh, hope if I can get him. Oh man, he's killing it. Love it. Hey, he's doing like 90 damage. He almost one shots a Blight Brute, and these guys soften them up. So good. All right, we got double Splimes. Okay, I'm not too worried about them because there's so much damage here. Yeah, these guys are gonna get wrecked by that. And I'm wondering if they move the armored guys over. No armor guys at all this round, okay. Now these guys want to double dance. It's, oof. it's like, do I move this guy over? These guys are kind of just squishy. Like, I'm not worried about those at all. I might put something here to help support, but there's a ton of stuff coming on this side that I don't know that this team can handle. The fire's coming in, so the ice crawler will have to deal with that, which is nice. I might put some stuff here and do a watering. 
Yeah, I think that's gonna be really helpful. Just get some extra people involved. I wouldn't mind them having to go up and around or something, but I'd have to like, or these guys going around. So if I can block this, I would, I, I would take that. Oh, in the ice. Oh man, that's not even fair. That is awesome. So clutch, so clutch. All right, and then, I mean, temp, the basic seeds are not bad. Aquifer can be nice, we start getting them leveled up, but I'm, I'm, I'm tapped out on plants. Um, would I get another fire over here? Maybe, I, I think that could be worthwhile to do. I have like, tons of energy from these two Tamos. I throw another one down. We got Aquafern involved, we got Fireflower in the party. Get everyone involved, water, oh no. Too much, too much. All right, um, looking great on the waterings. Really happy about that. Oh, I didn't, I missed this one. How did I miss you? I kinda, I could do an energy, but I don't think it's worth it. Um. I think what would be nice is a, a level two radiance, like doing plus four damage, I think would be awesome. Now this one would be cool too. That would push muscle branch up into the like one shotting. Like roots, I kind of want to see for the next round what's actually going to come out before I make that decision. I think a splash, I think this is really clutch because plus four damage, he's actually helping out on both sides. So he's very much involved. So I, I, I do want to, Lost Words are really a key player. Uh, and then I have one more. Push them in like that. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think this will go pretty good. Really, really bolstered the right hand side. And that's awesome. And I do like the fire flowers here because it's going to make it really hard for those golems to repair. I still want to be at the ready in case they get a little overwhelmed. They'll do some scare tactics. Oh yeah, they're getting ripped up. Oh, ho, ho, it's just they're dying right here. Ice Thistle's just stopping them all. That's nuts. It's not heavy hitters, but it's just a ton of cumulative damage. And Thorny was right there, just... And these, they were burning, like, it all added up. Oh no! Oh no! Right, I want to actually read about him. 500 HP, really slow. But he's got to deal with Muscle Branch. That's gonna be the showdown of the century here. 80 damage. Armor five, the first five damage of each attack is negated. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Um, Mega split on death launches a 12 HP slime thing onto every single tile on the edge of the map. I do have to keep an eye on that because like they could, okay. I don't know that they could land there because I think they would get stuck. So I don't think they're going to land there. Oozing forward rather than move at a constant rate. Mega Slime lurches forward and then waits briefly at the end of the lurch. Yeah, that is a funny. It's like, oh, he's not moving that fast. Whoa! <laughs> and then he like, lunges. Are they call it lunge forward or lurch? Oozing forward. I like that. Repair stuff there. I gotta be careful of that. I might need to bring the fire guy back to really prevent that. Because that certainly makes me nervous when you also have a just a Mega Slime coming out. I really want the team to focus on... I don't want these guys healing. That's going to be really, really bad. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring... Uh, it's more so the, the fact that they're getting damaged that I care about, not the amount, so... And this way it does do a double stack. Um, double shot, I mean. So I'll bring him over. What else we got here? And there's actually a fire, so he's not going to be helpful for that. He'll be helpful for these guys. Which I may move him up just to really focus on those so that he's not getting, because he might attack them. I'm guessing he will attack them and it'll be useless. So I actually want to move this guy up. And then maybe bring him down to be kind of attacking sooner. Kind of just some strategic shifts here. That's a great spot, I think, or there. I'll be there, it's good. What am I, wa I, I definitely want to get a watering in here. Maybe here, because I put something. 
<clears throat> there. Oh, this guy's maxed out, won't matter. Do I put something there? Eh. Won't hurt. <laughs> Basic seed versus mega splime. Go. Uh, did I use all my. Oh, I didn't pick up my radiance. Radiance. I wonder what happens if you don't pick them up. Like, does it just to go away? I think we need to do something here. Now, stun for one second wouldn't be a bad idea. That's an extra second of hurting him. Um, I do also want to check for when those guys fall. Are we covered? Yeah. This is the only spot I'm not sure about, but they would get stuck, I imagine. I hope they don't cheat and, like, barge through. But I think we're pretty covered for that. I think what would be best is this guy do an extra 30 damage. I think I have to do that. This one's kind of cool too, though. It's an extra second of damage, but... But this, can they can, he, can they get stunned twice? That's my question. I would imagine maybe. That might be. Black might just keep stunning him. I'm not concerned about the right if I keep Ice Thistle. I'm concerned about... I don't move ice this, so what happens on this side? That's pretty tough. It's a pretty tough group over here. And if if here's the thing, if they come in when Mega Splime's here, he won't necessarily get three hits off. So I, I'm gonna make the call. I'm moving this guy over. I think I have to do it. <laughs> Do a little extra here. I do have Shadow Links too, so Shadow Links is still hitting on a Blight Tile, that's great. And then do a Radiance, I think I need to get like an extra little bit of damage out of this guy. An extra attack per second could be good though, because there's a lot of guys, I'll probably do that. The sacrifice is too damage, but it'll help him multitask a little bit better. Okay, uh, I'm really curious to see how this goes. I think I won't die, but do we get hurt? We'll see. So far, so good. Oh, and the ice, that ice patch is helping out a ton. On. Oh man, the timing is not great on the left. Right hand side looking beautiful. Oh, I'm really happy about that move. Oh yeah, oh baby, we're good. We're Oh yes, you're all alone, sucker. What you gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna get wrecked now. Oh, he's oh the stun! Oh, wow, he wrecked him. I don't even know if we could uh pick that up now. Snuck in my radiance there. <laughs> that was cool. That was a tough level. A lot of thinking there to come out unscathed. Ooh, a new one. Oh, we haven't had this before. A wandering merchant approaches you. Can't care to trade infusions? So you give me two of your choice, and you can pick two of mine. It's fine if you don't want to, but I'm not going to show you my stock unless you agree. Ooh, okay. Keeping it interesting, merchant, I see. You give me two of yours, you can pick two of mine. Okay, yeah, might as well. I'm sure I can find something good. So am I picking Okay, this is his bash. I definitely don't have sap weeds. Another dark creeper I think would be good. I got a little scared. <laughs> Things just happen to work out quite well there. Uh, I wouldn't mind another fire flower because the, the reds are free. Um, I tend to run out of plants at the end, so I wouldn't mind that. But then does he take two of mine? Like, how's that work? I don't know. Oh, okay, then I had to give him two. I got it, okay. Um, interesting. I mean, I don't know if I want a fire a fire flyer that bad. I have to do it now. I have to trade. Wait, do I have to? Yeah, I do. I have to commit to trading now. I would have another shock stock. They're actually really great with that extra range and then a dark creeper. I think that's a fair trade. Definitely want to keep my muscle branch. Do I need three Temmas? I haven't really been having the chance to use all three. Get that placement down, so I'll give him a Temma. Oh, it's a tough choice, though. I love all these. Aquifer's been pretty clutch when there's, like, water stuff. I don't know, man. I mean, I might just trade back, like, a Dark. 
As much as I like Dark Creeper, this is risky because you don't always get Dark Creeper. I tend to prefer just beefing up one Dark Creeper. Tough choice. So I'm basically just trading a Tema for a Shock Stock, which I think is kind of cool. I could remove one, but I don't want to. Oh boy, it's open map here. These are kind of my favorite though. This is actually, um, I don't think, I, I want to say the battle maps aren't auto-generated. Like this is too symmetrical to suggest that it is randomized. I think it's the, the board that gets uh, randomized. I remember, yeah, I have, I have some strategies for this level because this is a, this is a, a repeat level. That was, I think, the, the, the Mega Splime that was the main, the normal path on the last uh, playtest. So I, I, I tend to like clear out a spot here and then like maximize watering around this. Uh, but let's see what we got for cleansings. Um, I do tend to like cleansing around here. If I don't get a good cleansing here. If I do get a good cleansing here, I, I would for- uh, Actually, I did use Gerber, so I don't have Gerber here, so my strategy might change a bit. Same as last time, they come out this first and then they come out here next. Um, I'm going to probably pick this to cleanse. Mm. Oh, to use Chevy. Uh, can I do... That sound confuses me. <laughs> it's the same as the cleansing sound. Um, I'm so used to it just meeting cleansing. Alright, so we got some little guys, nothing scary. get too cocky here. I think um, I can push them a bit. Hmm, that's not bad, I suppose. I could put Dark Creeper here, won't be that helpful this round, but long term, I think it'll be a great spot. I want to get that watering in for both of them. Ooh, I like that water animation. It's really cool. Alright, uh... I want to go down here. No, because I want Shadow Links to have a bit more. And I could go here. Still primarily hitting on a Blight, and I could scare them, but I kind of want Shadow Links to have three spots there. So I'd say let's do it. He attacks so fast. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's like one every 0.75 seconds or something like that. Really fast. Just scare him back a little bit. Slow him down. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I like that last radiance gets knocked out. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, so if you have... I would imagine if there's too many different types of enemies here that it would start to hide behind this uh, HUD thing here. It's not a bad cleansing. This one's actually really cool. Um, but I gotta be a little careful. Like, what's that actually gonna get me? I don't know. This one's like pretty much a guaranteed option, but it's like so far off the beaten path, it's not long term gonna help me that much. Um, I think I'll take this one. It's a little risky, but okay, it worked out. Oh, wow, and they gave me that one, but as nice as I can do this. What do we got coming out? That brute's gonna be a little nasty. I think a muscle branch is gonna help me there. Um, I can get. Maybe a little careful here. I wanna get a watering in. I'll pay you a Tema and a Radiance. And get that extra energy. Get the watering in. I think this will cost me. Yeah, I like seeing the cost, it's so nice. Before you have to kind of guess. That'll be good long term. And then for this round. I do the plus 30 damage. It'd be nice to. Yeah, they're gonna go that way. It stinks. 
because I can't really scare them. <laughs> I mean, I could. So if the brute comes out, I might just scare him just to delay his venturing out. Oh, Carpo, I wanted to do Aquafern. Because it's really just Muscle Branch. It's a little risky. I, ugh, I didn't really think of that. I might get hurt here, but can't do much about it. There we go. Back him up, back him up, back him up. <laughs> oh no, there's two of them now. Crap. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, let's hold on. No! No! Alright, we got hurt. Darn it. That sucks. Oh, why, how do you sneak by? He just one-shotted that one. Why did that happen? I don't know. Alright, my, my flawless victory is lost. I wonder if you get rewarded more for not getting hurt. Uh, double splime. Okay, not tough, but like they're coming from different directions now, so you have to be careful of that. This one's tempting, because I think it's a decent odds that it clear cleanses that. If not, I can at least start to wall up, so I'm going to go for that. Eh, that wasn't great. Now I'm starting to wonder if I go that way. But they didn't give me any other cleansing here. Now this one could clear that, and that'll free me up to go over here and start doing some good pathing. Um, I do want to start laying down some stuff to... Oh, but this is a path. This is a spot too, so that's... Yeah, I think we go for it. Hmm, a water spot. Interesting. It could be good for shock stock. I'm like toggling back and forth between which side to block. I think this side's pretty good. Like, I think I need to block like this way. Oh man, I'm really extending. But I feel like I need to do one round of just getting a good path, even if I have to eat it a little bit. I'm worried if I move this guy, will they care? Will they prefer to go that way? Probably. Maybe. This isn't great. I can move Bustle Branch over though, which would be good. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna want to go this way if I open that up. It's kind of awkward. Like I don't. I have. Well, what I can do, actually, I was going to say, it's awkward because I can't spend the Radiance, but I just realized I can do this. It's a bit of lag I'm encountering on this level. I think I'll move, he'll, he'll stop getting leveled up, but at least he'll participate. I don't know how this is going to go, it's not going to be great, but... I, I, I care less because I got hurt already. <laughs> I want to see if I can scare them when they get really... Oh, there's a lag there. Oh, it did work there a bit. You see that? They went backwards. Yeah, I'm going to get pummeled. But this is a round where I got to take a bruising. God, it's a bad lag right now. It's stuttering every bit. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> you see, it popped out because I took enough damage. Actually, I don't know if I did because I think it was... I think it's 80. It popped out when I took that damage. I got two Radiance there. Um, the, the Armored guys probably is the last round. Yeah, there are, so I'm gonna do the upgrade. Uh, hello. Oh, I gotta do this first. Radiance, and then Danger Zone. Okay. Uh, but now we took a beating there, but I can do some better pathing. Where do I do that? Mm. This one seems, this, like, this could be a good spot. Do I still have my Aquafern? I do, but they're not showing up. That kind of stinks. The Aquafern would be nice to block here. And granted, this might open that up. And I could block that way. I don't really like that quick bend here. It's really not ideal. If I could have guys go all the way around too, that would be nice. I think I need, to, I need to take a blight cleansing to kind of re-roll my options. And this one seems the best. This one might be good too, though. I'm gonna go for this one. 
Nice. Now, this is still, I have to stay here, unfortunately, but if I can at least push these guys, like what I'm thinking is this. Now this guy at least is, uh, no, still not. They actually want to go that way. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's rough, but at least I can probably... Hmm, I could actually push them pretty badly. All right, you want to go that way, sucker? Then go. Just send them all the way around, fine. There you go. And then he's still a little bit involved, that's good. Shock stock here won't be bad, or... Like right here, maybe? Right there, the water tile, I like that. A little bit, little bit of splash. And then put ice thistle here. I can't... Maximize that this- well, actually, I could do. Nothing changed, really. I could put Ice Thistle here. I would long-term like him there, though. Though another Thorny there wouldn't be bad, either. I'm thinking they're frozen on there. That would be really, really nice. So I, I can't do that this round, but I'll do it next round. Yeah, this is decent. I would've liked to get a watering in, but... That pathing, I have to, I have to really invest in that. Wow, those guys are still resilient, even though I got that danger zone. That's crazy. They're still practically making it through. Unbelievable. That's why I really need that ice thistle. But it's cool. I like how the thaw, like it started to go away visually. That was really helpful for my timing. Because I was, I was planning to do my move there, but we came out unscathed. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, we did. lost that ice thistle. The way it works. Um, I'm gonna probably put Muscle Branch. I guess it depends on what's coming out, but I want Muscle Branch to be like in the main path of things. So I think now this I can I can certainly make this worse for everybody by having everyone go around by blocking this. I do need to get I need to get this opened up. Please open up. <sighs> Fine. Very funny. So now I have to do three. <laughs> I think it's worth it, because if I can get... Um, hmm. I want Muscle Branch more involved. And then I gotta <laughs> block this up. Definitely don't want that open. It's kinda silly, but... I mean, that is nasty. We really do some... I don't mind them wrapping around Muscle Branch like that, honestly. Um, I could even do that to make it even worse for them. I get some fire flower involved. Like I need to get some damage out on the map here. Ooh, uh, these are watered. Whew, can I get uh You know what? I think I'm gonna do extra two energy. Would that be worth it? Because I can get blast work down. I think it will be. Get maybe a thorny down. I need to get. I need to start getting. Like, I need to take advantage of this wet. So it's so clutch. So boom. I kind of tempted to put a Tema there, but I think long term it's gonna be better that I have. I think fire flower like mixing up a bit would be really good. So I'm gonna do a fire flower. That was free. Yes, true. Excellent. <laughs> and I'll take another one then. Oh, what's cool. T oh, no, they don't take into account that that would be free. I want to put Thorny here, and I do have a red artifact, so it would be a net cost of one, but it's saying I t it's going to cost me two. It'd be nice to just put it down. I'll try it out. I'll put Basic Seed down. Yeah, gray it out. That stinks. All right, let's do it. feel a lot better about this, now that I have the path in place. All oh, my guys are really contributing. And they have to go all the way around and get pummeled by all the extraneous seeds I have here. Yeah, it's a good setup. Killer. 
Oh yeah, this is really nice. The Muscle Branch is really doing some great work there. Awesome. Definitely want to get some water rings in the last round here. Get that ice thistle down. Oh my goodness. Practically made it through. Wow. Ooh, Agra Fern. You can go right here, buddy. Oh, with a Mega Splime right there. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is going to be a pretty big round. I think ice thistle. Oh no, they didn't give me ice thistle! Oh, this killer. Oh, man, it's brutal. I think I can spread their shock stock there, but man, that's rough. They really, they really pinched me there. I want to move up the, uh, ooh, okay, I should keep Blastwort there. I was going to move him up for the watering, but... Which isn't a bad idea still, but I kind of want Blastwort more involved in the fight. And I wouldn't mind them hugging because that's kind of cool, right? They're actually now brushing up against this side. I think that's really going to help. The other thought I did have was blocking, like, how, like especially with a Mega Splam coming out here, if I force him to go all the way around and around, that 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 could be huge. I think that's the best spot, but I don't like this at all. I can't believe they robbed me of that ice thistle. That's gonna be, now he's gonna be on ice here, which is good, but can I do splash? Does he do splash? I think I'm gonna do that. That's gonna, I think, be huge, especially on ice. And I can scare them into it. I think that could be the clincher. Then the thing is, okay, so they're actually watered. Yeah, everyone's actually pretty watered. I'm gonna do one watering here. And I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Aqua Fern. I kind of want Muscle Branch to focus. I don't want him to worry, but like hit stuff up here because that's not gonna be that helpful. So I actually want to divert them away from him. Oh, they're still coming in that way. So that'll help. He'll be less, he'll be more focused on this. And I want that splash to really focus in here. Thorny's not that involved, unfortunately. Firefly will be pelting too. Blastwort will be involved. No, no nice splash, but he do, they do some splash damage. They have a splash radius of one. So right there will be really good. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna try to scare the uh, Mega Splime too. I think that'll be huge. I'll wait for him. Wow, it's getting laggy. Ah! I don't see him yet. It's getting really laggy. He hasn't come out yet. Could have used. Oh crap! There we go. Sneaky. Moonwalked right into the uh, muscle branch. Whew. Ooh, I got some goodies. Extra prosperity for your first successful adventure of the day. Thank you. Progress in a season by gaining prosperity. Progress in a season by gaining prosperity. Okay. These are both prosperity. That's cool. Gain prosperity for completing adventures. Purchase maps in the shop with glint. Gain glint from adventures. Yeah, we saw those in the last playtest, but there wasn't like a name for it. It just kind of showed up and it wasn't saved. Well, maybe it was saved though, because I think we were earning that. And yeah, I think we were, because I played quite a bit. <laughs> so that makes sense why I think I have so much glint. I think they're actually logging that. Cool, and so I think... Okay, so I got, I got... Oh, okay, and that was, I think, maybe based on my performance, maybe. Not sure. 97. No, I mean, I got 70. I got 76. I'm not sure. Um, very fun. Long. I mean, I'm kind of a slow player. That's 2 hours and 20 minutes. Plus. Oh, no! Alright, I'll make a note here. I'm sure it's saved. It seemed last time it crashed, it, it had saved. 
a bunch of these errors. I keep pressing it. All right, so hit refresh. Now, if I understand correctly, the I won't be able to do level three again unless I buy another map. I imagine if I like don't walk through the entire run, I, I might just lose that map permanently. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, okay. <clears throat> this is cool. Oh, nice, I got like a season of the sun. You can claim some goodies, so it seems that five weeks of this, this is great. Okay, I got a level one map for free. I'll take that. Um, whoa! Eversea gains extra maximum HP for adventures. Is that like a permanent thing? Permanent buff? That would be sick. Purchase maps in the in the shop with glint. Looks like extra glint. Level two map. This is cool. This is fun. It's really starting to like. It's really cool to see this stuff come together. Season of Sun. So I got, yeah, that would make sense because I got 97 plus 50. So I, I've earned 285. I think that's my allowance for the week, if I'm not mistaken. So I can earn a bit more this week. Really fun, really fun. Um, yeah. So I bought, each map I bought, it got more and more costly, so. Uh, but let me just test that, because I want to see if I try to do a level three. That's exactly it. So you have to go through, and again, I think the first map was free. You want to do another level three, you have to buy with more glint. Um, oh, that's great. Um, I think... There are just some little like feedback things I have on interface stuff, but the gameplay, the balance, um, super fun. I think this is heading in a really good direction. Um, I'm pretty toasted after like <laughs> two and a half hours on a lot of new stuff, so I'm gonna take a break, but um, yeah, super impressed. Super impressed with this. Love to see some more of these gameplay elements come into, uh, come into focus and prosperity, some stickiness there with the playing each week and kind of hitting your quota. Coming back next week, I think that's kind of cool because yeah, you could keep grinding and doing some other stuff there, but um, and I think this is, I don't know if this is for me to go to level two or if this is just my me going towards my quota for the week. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. But this is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna have to play some more. Um, I went with the big fish first, doing level uh, three, but uh, I'm guessing these are gonna be, like they're not super intense. They'll be shorter runs, I imagine. But that was a long run. I don't know what this is. I kinda, still not sure what that is. But very, very fun. Um, I'll definitely uh, jump back in, but I think that's good for now. Thanks for watching.